I'm Ann Trujillo with your Denver 7 update. The schedule is out and nearly 80% of Colorado high schools are opting to play football in the fall. Practice begins on Thursday. The first game is set for October 8th. What's left of the Broncos will take on Tom Brady and the Buccaneers this Sunday. Lucky for our guys, they'll have 5,700 fans providing some much needed backup. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn has a story. They hand it off to Gordon, running left. Gordon at the goal line. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Denver. The Broncos' first home game of the season saw a few highlights and even fewer fans. No noise. The timeouts, it was just quiet. Now they're ready to welcome fans back to Empower Field this Sunday against Tampa Bay with new COVID guidelines in place. All of our staff will obviously be wearing masks. Uh, some staff we had close contact with fans will actually be wearing the face shields. I just think it's a win for the fans and and if they pull it off safely and there's no you know super spread factor or anything like that which I don't think there's going to be I think they should be able to increase it throughout uh, the next handful of weeks. The Broncos will start with just 5,700 fans about 7.5 percent of capacity far fewer than some teams. We are glad to be back at at t Stadium, baby! Ball power! The Dallas Cowboys allowed a crowd of 21,000 in the stands this past weekend. We've been in the house for COVID-19. The anxiety is over. Football is back. Go Falcons. Go Cowboys. What do you think that's going to happen to the pandemic? I'm so ready to see them play, too. It's been a very long time since we've been here. Go Cowboys! Fans entering the stadium will be required to wear face masks, ticket takers will be wearing gloves, and floor signs in the bathrooms and concession areas will help fans maintain distance. Fans are welcome to come in and out of the, out of the stadium bowl and go use the bathrooms, get concessions, and come back. Radio host Zach By says even a few fans could give the Broncos an edge. I remember being a high school basketball player, sometimes the middle school team would come in. Even those 12, you know, 10 year olds, 11 year olds would spark a fire under guys and they'd be dunking in warm ups as opposed to just laying it up. I think that when we have eyes on us uh, doing our job, probably elevate our performance a little bit more. That was Russell Haythorn. Thanks for watching this Denver 7 update. Make sure to download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone to get breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Andrew Heal.